With the dawn of 2024, we are facing one of the biggest climate events in world history. What El Nino will do to the Earth in 2024 has nothing to do with general global warming. This extreme weather phenomenon is part of the natural cycles of our planet, and yet it can hit us hard. El Nino starts in the Pacific and influences all weather cycles from there, and therefore also our agriculture, our environment, and the lives of billions of people. The dramatic events that are now approaching us are already casting their shadows. But what exactly should we expect? Will Europe also be affected? In the early hours of a December morning in the 17th century, Peruvian fishermen made a disturbing discovery. The usually cool and fish-rich waters had warmed unexpectedly, and the abundance of fish had dropped dramatically. This sudden disappearance of the food base of the entire coastal population was the first documented El Nino event. Since the 17th century, people have observed this sudden appearance of changes in ocean currents, weather, and water temperatures. And in South America, the phenomenon was one day given the name El Nino, or the boy, in reference to the Christ child, as the phenomenon often appeared in its very first stages around Christmas. Over the decades, this phenomenon mutated into the most significant climate event in the world. Centuries later, in a world of advanced technology and science, we know how far-reaching El Nino and its effect on the Earth's climate cycle really is. We now know that El Nino is part of a larger cycle known as the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO for short. In the Earth's weather cycles, there are always interactions and phenomena that occur in pairs and so the milder counterpart of the angry boy is La Nina, the girl. Both phenomena have far-reaching effects on global weather, including extreme weather events such as droughts, floods, and storms, with El Nino usually hitting harder. In 2024, we may be facing one of the strongest El Nino events ever recorded, and scientists are already warning of the potential consequences. We can expect unpredictable weather conditions, severe natural disasters, and devastating effects on agriculture all over the world. Water supplies and biodiversity could suffer, and regions that are normally blessed with rain could be threatened by drought. Regions with little rainfall, on the other hand, often experience heavy rainfall with flooding during El Nino. El Nino turns our weather upside down. Not to be underestimated, El Nino and La Nina. Who would have thought that a single event somewhere over the Pacific would set off a chain of interactions around the world? It has taken centuries for us humans to finally understand how complex and sensitive our planet and its climate really are. Looking at the current situation, it seems devastating that we are only now, when so much has already been destroyed, waking up to what is really important in this world. El Nino and La Nina already existed when people weren't building nuclear power plants and blowing masses of CO2 into the air. These two opposing but inextricably linked phenomena are connected in an eternal dance as part of the larger ENSO cycle. Each step of the two has an impact around the world. El Nino is the warmer of the two phenomena and occurs when the trade winds that normally blow across the Pacific weaken and reverse direction. This change causes the warm surface water, which is normally driven westward, to move back eastward and spread across the central and eastern Pacific. The effects are dramatic. Sea surface temperatures can rise by more than 2% Celsius above average, triggering a cascade of weather changes. Heavy rainfall and flooding in South America, droughts in Australia and Southeast Asia, and even warming of global average temperatures are just some of the devastating consequences. In 1998, we had one of the strongest El Nino events on record, and that year was immortalized as one of the warmest years on record. Today, whether researchers know that the increasing violence of El Nino is very likely linked to our actions around the world, man-made global warming meets a monumental weather phenomenon, and together, they can have dire consequences for the planet. But what should we expect this time? In 1998, Climate change was not as well known as it is today. Scientists were only just beginning to become more aware of the drastic changes. Even then, El Nino's effects were worse than ever. We must therefore expect another increase in 2024. 
Central Europe may experience prolonged droughts and floods. We can expect floods on the Rhine and Elbe, and we may experience a summer of the century with unusually high temperatures and drought. La Nina, the cooler counterpart to El Nino, occurs when the trade winds intensify and drive the warm surface water even further west. This leads to an increased upwelling of cold water from the depths of the ocean in the eastern Pacific. La Nina brings its own set of global changes. Drier weather in South America, heavy rainfall in Australia and Southeast Asia, and sometimes even colder winters in North America. Both phenomena are fascinating in their complexity and they are crucial if we are to understand and perhaps save the entire global climate. Scientists are now using the most advanced climate models and satellite data to predict both events as well as possible. The findings of our researchers are now crucial and they are warning us. Climate chaos looming in 2024? The year 2024 could be a turning point in the history of the El Nino and La Nina climate phenomena and the entire globe. Scientists predict that we could be facing one of the strongest El Nino events ever recorded. But what does this mean in concrete terms? Climate models have calculated El Nino events for 2024 that will lead to heavy rainfall, flooding, but also droughts and heat waves. From 1997 to 1998, El Nino caused severe flooding in South America and devastating droughts in Southeast Asia and Australia. People in these regions of the world are afraid and rightly so. None of us can control the weather. We have changed it through our behavior and our industry, but we are now powerless in the face of these devastating changes. What is certain is that all countries will be affected by the devastation that El Nino can cause. Far-reaching changes, such as crop failures and famines or natural disasters, can theoretically affect every region and every city in the world, with certain regions being particularly vulnerable. The strong El Nino event of 1982 to 1983 demonstrated the importance of early prediction and preparation to minimize the impact on agriculture, water supply, and human health. In South America, devastating floods occurred in 1982 and 83. Peru and Ecuador suffered significant agricultural losses due to unusually heavy rainfall. Australia and Indonesia experienced severe droughts that resulted in water shortages and failed harvests. These dry spells had far-reaching economic consequences for both countries. In India, on the other hand, weaker monsoon rains led to reduced crop yields, which also affected the food supply in various regions. Africa, and in particular, large parts of East Africa such as Kenya and Tanzania, are also experiencing drought, poverty, and famine. In North America, on the other hand, El Nino led to milder winters in the USA and Canada, resulting in an increase in pests. The following year, California was exposed to extremely high rainfall and had to contend with floods and landslides. There was also increased cyclone activity in the Pacific, which caused further damage and challenges. The effects of the El Nino event were felt around the world in the form of disruption to global food markets while the stock market fluctuated due to higher prices for basic foodstuffs and energy suppliers. The global community had to pull together and raise funds to help hard-hit nations. El Nino will come, that much is certain. So what should each and every one of us expect? Agriculture is particularly susceptible to the fluctuations of El Nino and La Nina. In years with a strong El Nino, Crop failures can lead to food shortages in some regions, while other areas may experience unexpected crop surpluses. These changes require flexible adaptation strategies and further cooperation among governments. You may notice that certain foods or imported fruits and vegetables become more expensive or scarce. For the fishing industry, El Nino and La Nina can bring dramatic changes. If fish populations shift Due to the changes in sea temperatures and currents, catches in some regions may stop from one day to the next. El Nino often leads to a sharp decline in anchovy populations off the coast of South America, and these small fish are a food staple in South America. Even on world markets, the delicacy could become rare and expensive. Fish could become more expensive in general. In years with particularly severe events, 
extreme fluctuations in raw material prices and disruptions in the supply chain were possible. As a result, this has an impact on inflation and the financial budgets of countries and companies. The consequences could be a general rise in prices. Wherever there are floods and droughts, the risk of diseases such as malaria, dengue fever, and cholera increases. International rescue teams and aid are needed here, and this will also affect countries in Central Europe. Nevertheless, El Nino and La Nina are not enemies or evildoers. They are part of the soul of our planet, giving us insights into its complex mechanisms. The Earth has coped wonderfully with these fluctuations for thousands of years. Only we humans are increasingly vulnerable with our complex civilization and growing world population. How can we protect ourselves? You can take steps to protect yourself and your environment from the effects of El Nino. First of all, it is important that you regularly inform yourself about weather forecasts and climate reports. If you have an agricultural or horticultural business, you should be prepared for drought and heat. In times of drought, it's particularly important to conserve water. You can take simple measures such as collecting rainwater, reducing watering in your garden, and fixing leaks in your household. Any amount of water saved can make a difference during periods of drought. In flood areas, it is advisable to check dams, remain vigilant, and keep an eye on rainfall in neighboring states as well. If flooding is imminent, the lower floors of endangered houses must be evacuated. When planning a trip, be sure to pay attention to the destination country and how sensitive it is to El Nino phenomena. Perhaps you book a trip to South America, Africa, or Asia in early spring, and by the time summer comes around, these countries have turned into crisis areas. In summer, we will probably also experience an unusually hot and dry summer here in Central Europe. That can be nice or exhausting. Those who can't stand the heat are likely to be in for a nasty surprise this year. Become a subscriber now and never miss a new video.